Hello everyone, my name is Dave Padma and welcome to your first tutorial on how to build microservices with a technology called Lumen. Lumen is a stripped down version of Laravel that was built specifically for building microservices and APIs. In this tutorial, you will learn how to build a complete, powerful and robust microservice architecture. Now, you don't need to have already known how to code Laravel. It doesn't matter if you already know how to code Laravel. Um, you don't need to have known it. But if you already know how to code Laravel, it's an, it's an added advantage. But before we jump in, we'll first of all install this, but then I will get to explain in the next video what a microservice architecture is. All right. Uh, but in this tutorial, we'll just see the login, uh, the installation process. First of all, I'm accessing this page from Laravel, lumen.laravel.com slash docs and the latest version of it at, at the point, time of making this video is 5.4. All right. So, um, of course, you need to have this um, set up in your PHP installation. You make sure that your PHP installation is above this number. Make sure you have OpenSSL in, um, set up in your PHP extension. If you're using WAMP like me, I'm using Windows WAMP. If you're using WAMP, you have to click on the Windows icon and then click on PHP. Click on extensions. Remember, we're looking for um, OpenSSL extension in PHP. As you can see in mine, it is already set up, so I don't have any problem. So the next one we have to check out is the PDO extension in PHP. As you can see, I have my PDO uh, for MySQL um, ready and running. All right, the next thing we need to see is MB string extension. So we look for PHP MB string. As you can see in mine, it's working perfectly. It's, it's on. This, this check mark means it's on. So we're good to go. And my PHP version, I just come here and check. My PHP version is version 7.00, which is just amazing. So we have the perfect system for running this the first thing you need to do is to install composer if you've never if you if you've been coding laravel you must have had composer installed but if you don't have it already just uh, click on this link it takes you to getcomposer.com look at the page getcomposer.org all right so you click on uh, download depending on the system you're using whether you're using windows or, or, or linux or a mac you will see the setup process for each of them and for me so far windows is the simplest in the sense that you just download this install it and the composer runs on your system straight up all right just follow the instructions and you have composer set up all right back to the um, laravel installation there are two ways to install um, this um, lumen first of all you can use this uh, the lumen installer i prefer after running this you just could go to your command line so this is my command line you open your command line and navigate to the folder where you wish to install the, the, the lumen copy this and run it and then you can now copy the next one which is lumen new then blog is the name of the, the lumen app what you want to call the lumen app uh, in my case i've done it before i called my lumen blog you can call yours anything just the name of the project blog here stands for the name of the project I prefer to use Composer to install these things. It's easier and better on the long run for me. So to install Lumen, I just copy this. Um, instead of taking this first, this first uh, method, I just take the second one. I just copy this. Go to my my command line and paste this. Then of course I change this last name to anything I want. The name of the project. So let's say we're building uh, a blog just to demonstrate how to build a, a microservice architecture so you can just call it um, mine i just called my lumen block you can call yours anything all right really it doesn't matter where this is installed on your pc i like to put all my files inside this particular folder because i have one 64 installed I, I put all my files there. otherwise it doesn't really matter where you have this installed in your pc so you hit enter and of course make sure you have your internet connection on if you don't have internet connection there is no way it will work so when you hit enter it automatically fetches the information for you and installs uh, lumen for you 
it's that easy. You just have to wait, take a cup of tea, and before you are back, Lumen is installed. All right, I will not install it because I've installed it already. Now, um, the way you start a Lumen project, it, it looks exactly like a Laravel uh, project. So let me show you. This is my own version, the one I installed. As you can see, it looks exa almost exactly like a Laravel project, exactly. All right, but um, a whole lot of things were removed here to make it um, lightweight and uh, focused on uh, microservice architecture, all right? So first of all, if you want to run this app, unlike in your Laravel, there's no PHP artisan, all right? So unlike in Laravel where you just do uh, a PHP artisan serve, here you just do this. And remember, if you don't know Laravel, it doesn't mean anything. You can just quickly pick this up. You won't have any problem following this tutorial. All right, so we just copy this to run our server. This is what we always have to copy to run our server. We hit enter and it's starting up the server. And when it starts it up, we can view this project on our browser. But then there are some uh, basic installations or, or basic configurations we have to make. First of all, we have to change the M file so open your Lumen folder, <coughs> sorry for that. Um, if, yours is, if you don't have an M file already, it, .m file, you, you should have this. If you have this, then you have to edit it. So uh, um, you have to edit the naming, delete the example there, delete this and leave only this. But I've already done that. That's why um, you're seeing .m file here. So you have to edit it. I'll open my .m file. It's opening a text editor. Meanwhile, we can quickly go back and see what we have here. It's still starting our, our server. All right, if yours is hanging like mine, you just have to type any key on your keyboard. For now, I just type GF anything key on your keyboard. It should um, quickly show you the server. So our server is running at localhost 8000. Now copy it and um, Go to my browser, fresh page on my browser, and enter. All right, so it will open it while uh, we're waiting. All right, our server is running as you can see. If I go back to my code uh, on my browser, and I'm seeing Lumen 5.46 Laravel component. So this means our Lumen is set up correctly. Um, there is a, a one or two configurations we have to make on the M file. Remember, I opened an M file, and um, first of all, you have to put an app key. An app key is basically a set of strings that is unique to your app. So I'll just put a set of random string, blah 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 blah. Cool. Now I have an app key. I save it. Then I have to uh, change this to match my database. All right. So uh, we'll go to our, our app. Uh, database and create a, a database then we'll fill it here so first of all I want to name my database uh, lumen blog lumen blog that's the name I want to name it then I'll put my the login to my PHP my admin or whatever my SQL login so um, this is the login the user of my SQL is root and for many installations for instance to make this work, if you don't already have WAMP installed, you should have WAMP installed. It works for me. If you're on Linux or any other platform, you can use MAMP or XAMPP or whatever. You can use MySQL Yog, MySQL Workbench, whatever um, database management system you're using. Um, it's your MySQL always have a default user login. For many people, there's this root with no password. There's work well like this. So you should already know um, by this point, I don't expect you to be a beginner to take this tutorial. By this point, you already know what your login details are. So I'll enter mine, and um, which means I'll have to come to my um, database management system and create my database. So I have to create it Lumen log and hit create. So it has created my new database and um, it's empty. My database is empty right now. So, so far so good. And um, so that's basically all we have to do to have our application run perfectly. Remember, you can use Homestead if you're, if you're coming from Laravel, you can use Homestead perfectly for Lumen or Valid or whatever combination you're using for Laravel works perfectly for 
for Lumen. All right, see in the next tutorial where I'll take my time to explain microservices, web services, APIs, and why it's important and what they are and to give you a very clear picture of um, what we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing. All right, thank you very much. Remember that you have to subscribe to my channel. So to, so to do that, you have to head over to YouTube. If you're not already on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, there's a red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Just click it so that when next I make further video tutorials, you will just get the alert instantly. All right, so you head over to my YouTube channel and uh, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash C slash BrainTempo.org. This will bring you to my channel on YouTube or you just search for Brain Temple Tutorial TV. Then you pan over to the right, this subscribe button, you hit it once and uh, you are subscribed. Beyond uh, uh, Laravel tutorials or Lumen tutorials, I've made tutorials as you can see in many other programming languages. I also make uh, video tutorials on startups that um, you would really love to see. All right, so subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.